Leo, hello. Welcome back to those of you who have been here before. And for those of you who it's your first time here, welcome to you. Happy New Year to all of you. I am Denise. This is Surrender to the Flow of Tarot. And I will be doing a monthly general reading for the collective of Leo today. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, really any placement. Um, it's a general reading. It's probably not going to resonate with every Leo who watches this. If it, Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. You don't want to relate to it. You want to resonate with it. And there's a difference. You feel me? Okay. So, um, the format, I've changed up the format. Instead of doing weeklies, I'm going to be doing monthly readings now and, and mid-monthly. So, on the 1st and the 15th of every month, I'll start with Aries and I'll go through the Zodiac. Um, and probably within the first seven days of the month, all the readings will be done. We'll try to do two a day. And then I'll do it again on the 15th for your mid-month check-in. Another new thing I am doing is morning pulls. You can find them on the channel. On this channel, um, there's a playlist called Morning Pull. Or they, if you go on my channel, it'll be the video before this one. I am doing them for as long as I feel it. I don't know. So far, I think it's been three, three days in a row. <clears throat> we'll see. It's really got a lot to do with like fitting into my schedule and all that stuff. Okay. Um, this background might slightly change when I'm still figuring out lighting and all of those, all of that non-fun, fun stuff. Okay. So today we're going to do a where are you? Where does the universe want you to be? What do you have to do to get to where the universe wants you to be? And we're going to use tarot for that. And we are going to use the muse for that. Um, the, the Marielle also we might also use that oh, it, it will depend we'll see you, you know how it goes if you've been here before we're gonna pull oracle cards for you first chakra card from the chakra love deck an archetype card for what archetype you should most embody for the month from caroline meese mice miss I'm not sure how to say her name and a card from the romance angels deck for your heart and relationships for the month so Let's start with the chakras. Are you ready, Leo? Leo, are you ready? Strength, root chakra, smoky quartz. It's funny, I had smoky quartz out and I put it back just before I started this reading and I was like, should I hold on to this? Root chakra, strength. Strength comes from your connection to the root of your being. Okay, so you're gonna wanna get smoky quartz if you can and work with it, hold it, um, wear it. Strength comes from your connection to the root of your being. When your root chakras are blocked, it can be because of trauma. Um, so unprocessed trauma. I'm feeling like there's, all right, we're gonna, we're gonna see what, what else is connected. You could also watch YouTube um, videos for root chakra openings and clearings and stuff like that too. That would be helpful. Or like there's probably sounds you can listen to too. All right, so now we're gonna get your archetype card for January Leos. What archetype do you most embody? Well, that was fast. Bottom of the deck is Avenger. The light attributes are desire to balance the scales of justice, righteousness on behalf of society or oneself, and the shadow is resorting to violence in the name of a cause. Hmm. What you thought was martyr. Okay, so this could be blame for 
you could be blaming yourself. You could be blaming yourself for your trauma that happened, or you could be blaming yourself as a result of the trauma that happened. And now you, it has lowered you. Your, your frequency, meaning like in your self-esteem way. Let's see, okay. Your light attribute is learning the transcendent nature of service to oneself or or a cause, and your shadow attribute is addiction to self-pity. Okay. Let's see what your romance angels say. There's a very somber feeling to this reading. It's like muted. Maybe some of y'all just haven't had coffee yet. <laughs> I don't drink coffee because it makes me go to sleep. Okay. Codependency. Okay, Leo. And release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. So if you don't have an ex, it could just be release your past, you know? Codependency, addictions are affecting your romantic life. Well, they're all they're all going together, right? Strength, martyr, codependency. So these are the areas to look out for for the entire month of January. Build up your clear your root chakra, focus on this, right? Clearing your root chakra, wear orange and red. Um, do the balancing things. Let's see what else comes out in the tarot, yeah? Okay, so we're gonna get one card for where you are, one for where the universe wants you to be, and one for how to get there. It could be more than one. The other, the, I forget whose reading it was. 13 cards came out. 13 for one, for one of those positions. 13. There's banana, bananas. Who was that? Maybe it was Taurus. Taurus, that was... Every reading so far has been really insane and different. I don't want to use insane. Really um, outrageous in different ways. Okay. I'm going to split this. can't remember what I can't believe I can't remember this but I can't remember what inspiration is in this deck I think it's swords no no it's wands that's why I, I knew there was something because it I feel like swords are inspiration but it's really wands in this one okay okay so that's you guys that's fire all right so what you got for where you are right now these are so beautiful Is the death card and the five of voices which is swords okay where the universe wants you to go is the six of materials which is pentacles the difference visually
and how to get there is the three of inspiration, which is wands. Okay. So you're clearly going through something. You have gone through it and you are still dealing with like the fallout of it. Like the things are settling, right? The dust is settling. And it's, it's more than that, actually. I think you're rebuilding. You're in rebuilding mode. Yeah. This is not something that just happened. This is something you are going through, like have been going through. Um, whatever the cause is, is something that has been repeating in your life. You feel me? Okay. So right now you are in a place of rebirth. It's like the death of self-deception what I'm feeling really strongly. We'll pull clarifiers. That is what I'm feeling very strongly. And look at this five of, of voices. They're yoga, right? And we talked about um, your root chakra and clearing it out. We didn't talk about yoga. But I guess I'm when I look at that, I'm thinking meditation. I guess they actually are meditating. So it could be either one. So it's very important for you guys. Self-care is very important right now. <sighs> okay. Getting yourself to a place of strength is very important. Where you are confident in self and capabilities and you are strong in what you know what you stand for and what you don't and you are there's a, you are at peace with yourself and with the world at large too do you feel me there are so many things you can't control they're out of your control and humanity and mankind um a lot of humans make really stupid choices and your responsibility first and foremost is to your is to yourself and your relationship with your source and then from there okay the universe wants you to get to the six of pentacles six of materials which is a place of balance it's it's reciprocity it's equal give and take and the way to get there is the three of inspiration which is wands which is the three of inspirations comes after the two the two of wands is when you are faced with the choice. Do you stay in your comfort zone or do you move out of it? And the three of wands is you've made that decision to move out of. So you're, so you're somewhere on the timeline of that. You're either about to make that decision, you made it, and it's the beginning, middle, or it could be toward the end. You feel me? So we'll see when we clarify. But The three of wands is when... You're letting a lot of things go to the universe, um, putting faith in the universe, taking a leap of faith. You've made a bunch of informed decisions on where you want to go. It's kind of like if you're planning a trip, right? You figure out where you're going, you pay for stuff, you get tickets, right? You rent a room or whatever that is. And then this is you at the airport waiting for the plane. You know what I mean? Or like this is like two months before you've made all the plans, everything's booked and now you're just waiting for the date to get here. So the three of wands is when you make a decision and you make movement, but the next part of the plan isn't totally up to you. So in this waiting period, your responsibility is yourself. Keep on the same path that got you here and to get you further, you feel me? Okay, bottom is temperance, which is what I'm saying trust in divine timing, right? Having faith in the universe and understanding that everything is going to happen the way it's meant to. We cannot control everything. You're going to see me drink water kind of often now because I have to keep my vocal cords moist because I damaged them and that's why I was on a very long hiatus. Okay, so let us pull some clarifiers. I think we don't fully need them, but, but I'm, um, which deck? Do I want to use the same deck? Do I want to, let me look, let me hold the Mary Ellen see. I never remember how this thing opens. 
This is a super dope deck. Yeah, we're going to use the same one. We're going to stick with the Muse for now. Okay. What can you tell us about? The Five of Voices. Eight of Emotions cups wanted to come out but didn't. Wow, okay. You might have air strong in your chart. On the split is the Ace of Inspiration, which is the Ace of Wands, which is your guys' fire sign. Um, that is the beginning of a new... journey in inspiration. It's a new journey that's powered by inspiration, if that makes sense. On the bottom is seven of voices, which is swords, which is betrayal, deceit. So it feels very much like someone really hurt you. Um, what came out was the moon, the three of voices, which is the three of swords, and the page of voices which is the page of swords. Okay, so this is a whole lot of heartache, devastating heartbreak. Someone has betrayed you deeply. It's, it's life altering in a life altering way. It has changed the course of your life and the way that you've seen yourself. And you are coming out of it but you are looking over your shoulder. You don't, it's, there's tentativeness here about wherever you're moving from. You're not sure where, what's coming. Um, and the universe doesn't fully want you to know. This, when the moon comes out, it is to be heavily listening to your intuition because whatever is happening, the, is better for you to not know the outcome because if you knew some of it, it would, you would make decisions that would keep you where you are. Do you know what I'm saying? You have to be able to get through whatever this is that's happening to you on your own without knowing fully. You know what I'm saying? Like you have to do the work. It's so inside right now. Okay. I'm not sure if I think for some of you, this is self-deception and maybe it's just, I think no matter what, there's an element of self-deception for everybody. But for some of you, I think this is self-deception. And for some of you, it's um, you're dealing with someone else, you feel me, who has deceived you. And whether it's self-deception or not, it's somebody down the line did betray you. You feel me? So that might not be what's happening now. I would love to know in the comments how that makes sense to you. If you want to share, no worries either way. Okay, let's see. Let's pull some cards for the six of materials. Just deciding which deck.
No, we're gonna stay with the Muse. Okay. of emotions which is cups which is water sign scorpio pisces cancer and the ten of emotions which is cups which some people see as the happiest card in the deck um and it's definitely happy so you have the universe wants you to be at a place where you are standing in your power where you are open to your receptivity and your creativity and your abilities to do all of those things and your confidence in yourself that you can create that you possess everything you need and that there's nothing outside of you that you need support is different right you don't need someone to get you to a place but you may need support on your journey there. Does that make sense? Um, and the universe wants you to be at your, your wishes come true. All of your, these are heart related. This is matters of the heart. It's, it's, it's tangible earth. That's materials, pentacles, and it's emotions, psychic ability, intuition, heart, love, which is emotions, which is cups, okay? It's both of those things. So it's like, you're a fire sign. It's about getting grounded and being open, being, ba being um, measured, culling your fire, knowing where to let it and where to hold it. You feel me? And what, how do you get there for the three of inspiration? The 10 of wands on the bottom of inspiration which is burdens that you've been carrying it's time to put them down and in this card specifically it's about it's about like gathering a team and using your resources letting yourself use the resources and don't don't do the martyr thing right okay what came out for you is the ace of materials which is the ace of pentacles and the nine of voices which is um swords okay gotta tame this is about taming that old tape that plays in your head the nine of swords is traditionally how it's defined is you you're in a nightmare and then you wake up and realize you're still in it and how i define it is it is anxiety. It's pan it's a panic attack. It's where you have panic attacks. You're at that point where the eight of swords is when stress starts and it's taking on an anxious element. And then the nine of swords is you haven't been able to override it and it's taking over you and now you're in it and you feel confined by it. So um, the universe wants you to... Focus on a new beginning in your stability, right? While you're waiting for the next part of your journey to happen, the universe wants you to take all of the energy from this and move it into this. The ace of materials or pentacles is the new beginning. It's a brand new beginning in materials is stability. It's transmutation, it's alchemy, it's um, your legacy, you're building your legacy, you're building your dream life, starting from the ground up and the universe that this, you've already been doing it. So this next phase is gonna take you to the next level. Your, your stability is going to an increase, okay? And the thing, and I'm sure me telling you to watch out for your panic attacks, you're gonna be like, oh, duh. Um, but that is what this is about. It's about understanding why, what causes that, 
where's the origin for there to even be a trigger and and um addressing that again go back to the root chakra right so this might be talk therapy right now journaling it's about processing and purging for you so that you're clear to move forward make sense all right i'm gonna pull a final lantern oracle for you how long is this oh it was 2525 when i looked 2525 7 7 14 4 plus 1 is 5 blah blah okay numbers okay lantern oracle bottom the split is the unknown the bottom is enough you were born enough look at how beautiful that is imagine that as your in as your core okay those colors what you got is voice 30 you are here to be known so speak and be seen this came out the other day So beautiful, right? These I really like this deck. It's a super dope deck. All right, let's read. Oh, that makes sense. If it's you're not used to using your voice and the five of voices, um, swords, is a lot of times it's self-deception, but it could be also that you're you're giving up your voice. That makes sense. Okay. Family, culture, and society can often demand silence and invisibility. Sometimes early in life, silence and invisibility are even the necessary means for survival. However, at some point in our lives, we need to release our light from the shadows and shine our uniqueness into the world. Initially, the very thought of expressing ourselves may stir up fears of being criticized, rejected, or abandoned. Nonetheless, it is always up to us whether such fears stop us or we persist alongside them until they dissipate. To withhold our unique gifts results in trapped energy. Sorry. Oh, I know what I said. I can't find the... There we go. I didn't put my thumb on the spot. Trapped energy that turns negative and is potentially toxic to our health and well-being. Allowing our spirit self to sing nourishes and expands us. Our wings mend by expressing our voice. Flight is possible when we express ourselves in ways that others can truly know and connect with us. The guardian assures you that living according to your spirit self's voice will not betray you. It is you and has your back often in ways that are not immediately obvious. Nonetheless, hindsight will always reveal that being true to yourself is the way of fulfilling the love, security, and completeness that you seek. It is a time of tuning into your voice from your heart center. It may involve tuning out any unsupported external forces. Much joy can be had in exploring every medium or form that inspires you. Allow your body, thoughts, and heart to breathe in tune with your spirit self's beat and vitality so miracles and blessings can reach you. You are the only person who can proceed to make you invisible or silent. Once you accept yourself, no one and nothing can have the limiting effects of judgment, criticism, or rejection. It is always up to you to let no doubt or fear have the power to bury you in the muting shadows. Remember that every perceived rejection, setback, or failure is a lesson forming your pathway to the door that opens, and only you can stop you from walking through. Your difference is your blessing and responsibility to share. Okay, Leo, be kind to yourself right now. I'm sending you lots of love, lots of love. And you are held by the universe, okay? You're not alone. 
this just won't leave me alone, this card. So if this really resonated to you or something, will you please let me know in the comments because I don't understand what it is about this card. It's telling me to pull, I'm gonna pull a romance angel for this card. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. And there you go. Okay, Leo. I hope that this helped. Thank you for coming and sharing your energy with me. And I will see you again in about two weeks at your mid-month. Bye.